Hello everyone and welcome back to Fatal Frame 3. The Tormented. Once again we're standing here in Ray's bedroom while she's uh, contemplating going to sleep again. <sighs> it's always it's always a nightmare with Ray. Let's do it. <laughs> Just love that going to bed is like entering a dungeon. It's not Ray. Welcome to Fatal Frame Three with Riku. Miku, not Riku. Oof. She's already got tattoos. Hour for the evil dream. So Miku Steel, she was in the first game, right? We talked about that. Her brother went missing. Um, and after that, she stopped being able to see ghosts. Thick sacred rope across the door. Door doesn't even budge when I try to open it. There's a strong presence emanating from the door. And she has... Oh, she still comes com comes with a camera, even though she didn't carry one from the first game. This must be from her job. And this is, for people who recognize it, this is the haunted mansion that the first game took place in. Herbal medicine, just like in the first game. Although she didn't have lanterns. She didn't have these blue lanterns in the first game. Let's see what we got for a map. So, <laughs> nothing. This place is like no other place in the world. Let's try this door first. Alright, this is the most important hallway from the first game. The Rope Shrine hallway. Oh, there's something up there. It's like a log. And this is exactly where you find the camera obscura, because the brother goes missing right here, and he brought the camera. Is this? You better believe it is, Miku. But I don't want to remember anymore. Too bad we're going back to the this awful manor. Camera ready? Oh, notice! Her capture circle is tiny! Teeny, teeny, tiny. So you have to be really careful when we aim with her. You'd think that with her years as being an assistant, she would... She would have improved her camera a bit, but no. So take a look. Her range is terrible all the time, but her max value and sensitivity are super high. And notice she doesn't get any special lenses at all. We'll see why in a moment. Uh, which way to go? I guess this way. The layout is different than it was in the original game. The rooms are kind of put together randomly, almost. An item. Some awful noise. Good film. I like that. A window that you can't see out of. A partition room, just like... Is this called a partition room? Yeah, the Himuro Mansion first floor, Great Hall. I don't like this area. It's like I can't, you can. It's hard to see. Um, I don't know if there are items. I guess the head tracking will tell me, but I don't know how much there's gonna be. It's gonna run through. We've got a family altar. Some kind of talisman is enshrined there. Is this a puzzle right away? Yeah, there's a stone slate on the door, and several stones are inlaid. Perhaps it's a contrivance to unlock it. To unlock it, you tried, but it won't open. There's minute script engraved on the stone slab. Engraved in the pedestal, the same number of panes as are engraved on the sleeping stone. So this is a dead end already. 
Well, we still have one more path we can take. Oh! Oh, no. Run away! Ha, ah, take that. <laughs> I missed. It got just out of range in the last second. Oh, I missed. Let's do it again. Yeah, that second shot doesn't do anything when I miss like that. Why that feel, Riku? To come back to this. There's something on the floor where the man with the hatchet was. A simulacrum mask. Was that the one he was wearing? A white expressionless mask on the back is a metal attachment for hanging. Something else has fallen on the floor. I got the sacred stone amulet. Was he holding it? Alright, I think that's uh, a Sanskrit character. I don't know if that's the one that means... I don't know what that one means. Uh, I know it's Buddhist, which means it's bad. In Japanese uh, popular culture... Buddhism is kind of reserved for things that are dirty, so things like death and misfortune, that's the religion that you go to to deal with those things. And then Shintoism is for like, the clean things like being born or getting married. So anyway, Sacred Stone. I can now slow a ghost movement using using the special circle button. Um, you can't use it if it goes to zero. So there you go. I can now do that. And I don't know if they tell us Miku's other thing that she can do. So she doesn't get special lenses, but she has something else to make up for it. One of them is that she can slow down ghosts really easily. We're going to be using that a lot. Because her range is so bad, she has to make up for it somehow. And people kind of think of her as like, you know, she's the main fatal frame girl. So she's got to be tough in some way. Alright, this door's closed, so... Go back down through the ropes. Oh, got whacked by that one. She hates ropes. Look at her, like, oh my gosh, she's, her eyes are, like, closed. When she bumps the, when she bumps the rope, she closes her eyes. I never played this game on s such a large television, so I've never noticed that before. There's a gaping hole in the floor as if something heavy has fallen through it. It's dark inside the hole, and I can't even see the ground underneath. And there's that awful, like, singing. So here's some more, what looks to be like Sanskrit, I'm not sure. Metal fixtures on the back of the simulacrum mask look like they're made to perfectly match the fixtures on the door. So I hang it up. But when I do, whammo, the face of the simulacrum mask I hung on the door has changed to an expression of anger. But the door appears to be unlocked. That's a callback to a puzzle in the first game. Which I didn't know since I played this game first. Oh, you can actually see that these droplets falling down are red. This must have been the fish storage tank. I guess that's a thing. The water is muddy and dark. I can't see the ground under my feet. I wonder, is that a, is that a real thing? Like that? Oh! Am I under attack? Oh, sh oh no! I missed! She's got me. Oh, I, I knocked her back. Oh, I, I hit. I hit slow for a sec. Oh. She just come on, just just go. I'm ready. Okay, that counts. It wasn't a fatal frame, but at this point, I'm gonna take what I can get. It's just too far away. She's coming back. There's something on the floor where the ghost of the long-haired woman was. I like that we just refer to them by their physical characteristics. It's a twilight stone. 
It, there's a pentagonal lithograph stone carved with what looks like Sanskrit writing. See, I thought it looked like Sanskrit. Does that go to this puzzle over here, maybe? Let's, can, I, can I talk about this? I thought I felt something moving in the water, but it's so dirty I can't be sure. Could there be something still alive in here? No, I thought she comments about how there's something dripping from the ceiling. And it's snowing outside. It's just like in our pause menu. Such a beautiful effect. There's something... There's something calming. Something beautiful with the snow falling like this, but also... Like... Isolating. Oh, did I have enough points? I have enough points, not that. We could look at those. Uh, enough points for met range. She needs range so badly. It's going to cost 30 to do it next time. Oh, what was this? Stone is under here now. Okay. If you powered up the length of a fixing group... Oh, that's really important. That's our ace in the hole. And she has all the functions that uh, Ray has on her camera already. I like how the ghosts are like, they're really out of focus in this one. In the later... Oh, there's a good one. Nice and clear. Um, in the later games, the pictures that you take of the ghosts are much clearer. And I think you kind of lose something when they're clear. I think, like, this is a scary picture. Where it's... Where it's you can't quite make everything out. Okay, so, uh, responding to the twilight stone I, p I brought, it looks as though the door mechanism has begun to move. So, this is a, a simpler puzzle than, than it looks. You just have to get the stones to the matching symbols, um, and you can only move them to, the, to any blank spot that they're connected to by a line. So, essentially, what I think I do is I just make sure that every time I make a move, it, a stone is going to the exact right spot. So I'm going to give that a try. So this one has to go here, which allows that one to go there. Um, but now I have to swap these two, which I can't, because this is now in the right place, but there's no line connecting that one. So let's go back, and this time... I'm going to try this one first, and then solve it from there. Move this to here. I don't have one for that. This is going to have to be a placeholder, so I'm going to move you here. You go there. You there. And on the last one, boom. I wonder if it gives you six moves, because that's the fastest you could do it is in six. Anyway, the lock opened. This is an example of a Japanese-style prison. The old ones, of course. So I don't think there's anything... Oh, there's a painting. An old picture hanging on the wall. The surface is black for the moisture coming through the window, so I can't make out what the picture is. Ugh, that's great, like, um... Like the Cthulhu-style Lovecraftian. I'm looking at something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, that ball moved. books. Old books are lined up in a small bookshelf. One of them looks like a diary or something, but the moisture coming in through the window has smudged the writing and I can't read any of it. Interesting that she just knows that. That's too moist. All the books are ruined. Maybe that's a thing that happens commonly. There's an old book here. Crimson Diary. Snow is falling. It's a quiet night. This could be the last snow of the ten years of changing seasons I have watched from this window. As I watch the snow, I get the feeling that something has passed. Finally, I have severed all of my attachments. I give my body over to the ropes and seal the gates. Kizuna Himuro. Oh, that's a reference to the first game, too. The rope priestess, Himuro Mansion, the memories of a girl who was tied up here. Oh, I should have read that in a girl's voice, huh? You said it's a girl's name? I read the Red Diary. Yikes. So, in the in the first game, you're... 
You're trapped in a mansion haunted by a rope priestess. Ah. Uh, and we saw from that little that little diary there, she was imprisoned for ten years so that she wouldn't be have any attachments to this world, so that she could then be turned into a rope. You'll see how that works out. There's another old picture. We don't know what it is. Perhaps there's a pair on either side of the room. There was. I told you. Face your fears again, Miku. There's the Buddhist chanting in the background. I like that they actually animated that sheet. But there's no one here. Even though we thought we saw, like, a head and legs and things. Oh! Oh, there is something. Ropes on its arm. Look how scary that thing is. It's too far away. Is it coming again? Here she comes. Oh, I missed. No. Well, that fills up my gauge a little bit. I hate this thing. Oh, oh no. film. Oh, she's getting pulled apart again in death. A second time. Oh! Was that the talisman was barring the exit? Let me look at the map. Okay. The shadow's are really weird in this room. I don't want to go in any further. Mafuyu. Okay. Uh, the shadows are back to normal now. Uh, mostly, I guess. back to the regular film. So that was the, the talisman, or the doll, or whatever, that was preventing Miku from leaving. So maybe her adventure is already over. She can go back to being awake, I guess. What? She 
said, her brother's this way. Well, I guess I can't it can't hurt to sleep a little longer. Is that rope in the way? now. Oh, there's something spooky happening here. She's got little braids. Oh, do you guys recognize where we are? Take a look. It looks like that Himuro Mansion section. All of this stuff just those couple of rooms, are connected to the manner of sleep. Oh, we haven't been in this room before. There's something reflecting light in there, but Miku refuses to push these curtains aside, so I can't get to it. I'll grab some herbal medicine. Although I only got hurt a little bit, so that's pretty good. Oh. Oh, it was it was already aimed at her. It said it was only going to do it for hostile ghosts, but I'm grateful that it does it for those as well. Though it didn't help me in the rope room. Before I go in there, I just want to check what's going on up here. Is there any books? And the writing's too damp, can't read it. How about on you? Piled up. One of the book's illustrations are kind of ascetic. His body covered what looks like a t tattoo. The next page is a picture showing the ascetic being swallowed up by a snake. Maybe it's a book illustrating local myths or folklore or something. Large bookcase. Old-fashioned writing. They're all smudged and illegible from the damp. You know, I use a fountain pen sometimes, and that is a real thing that happens, that it fades over time. especially, And if it gets wet, it's ruined. Ceremony honoring a local god, but I can't make out exactly what's going on. Uh, I can make out some of the writing, a few of them, like blood of the deceased, piercing of soul, engraving, a lot of tattoo-related words. Small space in the back of the little bookcase, I could see a ladder leading up. I tried pushing the bookcase, but it's too heavy. Probably only a man could move it. Another one of these things only men can do. Although Miku is kind of little. Uh, faded and covered in dust. Papers turned to shreds. I can't read anything. Illegible. A few words like peeling, surrendering of the flesh, shrine maiden. That's how I feel when I read Japanese, too. It's like, um, this word means, like, leaf. And this word means, like, water. And this one has something to do with money. I'm not sure what's going on. Ooh, red sacred paper. Whoa. This room has a super weird graphic. I think she was trying to say save the two. I don't know what was going on there. But this is an older game. Oh, now it's happening in here. What is going on in this game? Was that Miku's dream? But why? It seems Miku's having that same dream, too. Oh, maybe I'll stop here, see if I can't get this under control, and then catch back up with everybody. Alright, thank you very much for watching this episode, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.